Welcome back to Investing in Trading Live, sponsored by Online Trading Academy. An online trading academy, a physical academy local near you to teach people how to trade and invest. We have classes, we have state-of-the-art facilities. Uh, I would call it state-of-the-art instructors teaching different programs on stocks, options, futures, forex. And we have these introductory classes for people to be introduced to some of these techniques and concepts that we train here at Online Trading Academy. You can call right now for two seats. If you miss it on the last segment, you can call 888-682-6466. And this is for two seats for an investing class and a financial quick start kit that has some different topics on how to get started if you're brand new or if you're looking for more consistency, some strategies on that, and also some free stock picks. So make sure to pick that up uh, when you come into this free, uh, this free investing class. Call 888-682-6466. You can also text... The word investing to the number 210, 210 right now. So, Al, in that last segment, we really got into how these markets actually function, how they how they work, and who is moving these markets. It's the big money. I believe the stat is around 80, between 80 and 90 percent of the market activity is right. actually banks and institutions. That's correct. Which means us as the public, we're we're just we're small. We're like needles in a haystack which is a huge advantage to us because if institutions want to buy a particular stock, let's uh, you know, let's just say it's XYZ stock, they can't physically buy you know, thousands and thousands of shares or even millions of shares at one price, which it creates zones. And when they do that, it actually impacts the price because there's so much either, either buying or selling. So what we want to do as traders and investors is see where they're doing that. Find out where they're buying and selling and then jump on their coattails and ride along with them because we can't move the market. But I'll tell you what we can do, Al. We can jump along and trade with them. Sure, we can respond to it. We uh, can. Yeah. So as, as we get into this more, the strategy on the income strategies and wealth strategies, when trading with these institutions, how does that impact the odds and probabilities? Because that's what you really need sure. in the financial markets. Well, if if somebody is is impacting price, if there is somebody out there, some group that is impacting price, in other words, making it go up or making it go down, and you can identify when that is going to happen, that gives you a huge opportunity. What you have to be able to do to be successful is put the odds in your favor. The, the institutions, the banks, they already have the odds. I mean, they've got billions of dollars to spend on research and data. They've got the high-speed equipment, you know, highly paid individuals that are probably the top of the, you know, the, the Harvard uh, MBA programs. We don't, we don't need to do all those things. All we have to do is just follow what they're doing because they're showing it to us. Now, you mentioned a, a, a disadvantage that they have, and that is that they trade in such large quantities that they almost never get all of an order filled, whether they're buying or selling, at the price they want. So they will just put out part of an order or get part of an order filled, and then the rest of it is, is sitting there. It's unfilled orders waiting for the price to come back to a certain level. That's what we're doing. We're, we're seeking out those levels and, and setting our trades so as soon as that price level is hit, whether we are buying or selling, we're automatically in or out of a position. So the disadvantage to the big players, the smart money, the elephants, really is an advantage to us because unless you are a, a billionaire, you're trading you know millions of shares of something, you can easily get into and out of a position almost instantaneously. So we use that to, to our advantage. Um, you know, and, and I think uh, one of the problems that a lot of people have, the public has, Josh, as investors and traders, is that they're not doing well because they have a problem or problems or mistakes that they don't even know they have. And one of the things that we do for our students is to help them identify what those issues are, what the what the mistakes are that you're making, what the problems are, and then turn that around. And, and that's part of being successful. It's not just knowing what to do. It's also knowing what not to do. So think about this. If your portfolios are down for the year and other people aren't down for the year, if there were people that profited and they're using different strategies, wouldn't you want to know what those strategies are? Because you are probably put into the old standby, the buy and hold strategy where you're told just to hold on. And people are saying that, you know, yeah, the market is down for the year, but it will come back. And, and they're right, it will come back. But how much time are you willing to spend with a losing portfolio 
before you have the opportunity to make any profit. Let's go back to 1968. If you were a buy and hold investor back then and you had a portfolio put together in 1968, 25 years later, adjusted for inflation, you're at the same point. You did not make any money. You probably lost money because fees were taken out of your account. You were probably maybe withdrawing some. Uh, but even in, if you go back to the year 2000, uh, a, a portfolio, let's just say a $100,000 portfolio in the year 2000 was worth about $100,000 in the year 2014. You know, that's a, that's a lost period of time there that a lot of us can't afford to uh, to participate in, especially if you're retired. So, Al, a lot of people are probably thinking, well, that's in the past, right? Well, that's actually kind of what's starting to happen right now, potentially. I mean, we have markets that have dropped. Sure. And people that have accounts, they, they can't afford. If you're in your 50s right now, uh, maybe even 40s, you can't afford to have a 50% drawdown, which we're almost, and we're at halfway there right now. Well, yeah. we, we, we hit 30%, I think 35% in the NASDAQ already. So C correct. you can't afford for these times to happen. So you can't go by through these years and be like, oh, hey, I wish I would have done something sure. different. Yeah, you can trade any direction except backwards. You can trade an up market, a down market, but not backwards. <laughs> but, you know, you mentioned the, the NASDAQ being down about 35% and the average uh, retirement account down about 23 24%. Well, if you were holding the stocks that were the big growers before this year happened, Meta, which was Facebook, that's down 67%. Uh, PayPal down 59%, Tesla down 57%, Netflix down 52%. Those stocks have to be up more than 100% from where they are now just for you to break even. You can't make any profit on them, even if they go up 100% from here and you know until that point is reached, then you start to, to make a profit. So holding on to something through these down markets is just, it, basically it's taking time away from you where you could have had a portfolio that might have been profiting for you. One of the things that, that people that experienced those 40, 50, 60% drops didn't do was have protection on their portfolios. The number one thing we teach our students is risk management, how to make sure that the one thing you never have and you can't have to succeed is a big loss. You'll have some small losses and you'll have some small wins. Those will kind of offset each other. But if you eliminate the big losses, but the only thing left are the big wins, and, and you'll get those occasionally. But learn how to do this in a way where you have consistent profits. Don't look at, at the amount of the profit. Look at the consistency part of it because th this is a very scalable thing. Once you have the ability to, to uh, do something on a consistent basis, you can scale it up. Instead of maybe you know doing one contract, you do two. Or instead of 50 shares, you do 100 shares. But get that consistency down first. Yeah, you know some of the things that you know a lot of our listeners are probably wondering is, well, how do you, how do you do some of this and still have a job? We're talking about a lot of different Great. techniques and concepts, and and that's what the strategy is designed to do, is actually make this work around your schedule. You know, I like to I like to sometimes say the word set and forget. You know, it's not a something. It's not a phrase that we should be saying because technically you shouldn't just forget about your trades and investments. But you can set your trades up in advance and then let for price to come to you. Right. Wait for price. And then let it happen. Let it work for you. And that's kind of what it's designed to do is make this strategy work on top of your job. Or if you're retired, that way you can still do the fun things you want to do, golf or ski or snowboard or or uh, you know visit the grandkids. That's what this strategy is designed to do is work for any type of person at any time anywhere in the world it's as long as you have an internet connection you can trade and invest and we introduce you to these a lot of these techniques and concepts in these uh, free classes that al and i both teach here we teach them local here at the academies and uh they're they're about two hours long and we go through how the market functions how it works and how do you as everyday investors how can you take advantage of these different market moves and do that with more confidence and consistency so you can call right now for two seats uh, for this class you can call 888-682-6466. That's 888-682-6466. And that's for two seats for an investing class, local or at academies. you got to call right now to get those. We'll make sure that we get one of our associates to pick a date that works best for you. Um, if you're a texter, you can also text the word investing to the number 210-210 right now. So we've gotten through a couple of different you know, techniques, Alan, on how the market functions, 
how we want to wait for price to come to us, you know, and let it work for you. Right. So explain, just kind of give a visual here, paint a picture for the listeners on what a investment actually looks like when you, so, so someone goes to their computer, is there, are they researching different stocks and researching earnings reports and, and company management team and all that stuff that sounds very, very difficult. Is that how you really trade and invest like an institution? Well, it's, it's not how you trade and invest like an institution, but unfortunately it's like uh, how a lot of the public trades that you've been taught, you've been conditioned to think that you need to look at the fundamentals of a company. You look at all those things, look at their balance sheet, look at their PE ratio, their forward PE ratio, product pipeline, management team, all of those things, which, by the way, is all public knowledge. And by the time you have finished analyzing all of that, the institutions who already know all of that stuff before, long before you do or we do, they've already gotten into the position. They may already be getting out of a position just when you're looking at your fundamentals saying, yeah, this looks like a good investment. And it's over, folks. You've missed it. Fundamentals, especially for short-term trading, really are, are not of any value to you because – to prices of things change on a daily basis. We see sometimes swings of, of 500 to 1,000 points in a day. Uh, in, in a week or a, or a month, it's not unusual for a company's price to fluctuate significantly up and down. The fundamentals didn't change every time that happened. What happened is when the price started going down instead of up, it just means more sellers came in and started driving the price down. When the price started going up, and it finished going down, it just simply meant buyers came in to drive it up. But it had to be enough buyers, enough sellers, or a large enough quantity of orders to move the price. That's what we're doing. We're just looking at that information. Let the institutions do the work. They've already done all that fundamental analysis you know, because they spend billions, tens of billions of dollars a year on research and data that we either don't get or we get too late to do anything about it. So why put yourself through all of that work when all you have to do is learn how to read a price chart, which is what we teach you. It's part of our core strategy. And on that price chart, we're going to show you how to find those unfilled orders. They're sitting in a zone. If they're, if they're buy orders in a certain zone, we help you identify a quality zone where you get in at the lowest risk at that point uh, with the highest profit potential and the highest probability of it working. And then when you get out, you get out with that high, high profit potential. It, let's keep it simple, keep it easy, and just follow, again, what moves price because that's the most important thing. When is it going to go up? When is it going to go down? And how far is it going to go? Yeah, just to kind of give a little more explanation on that, where you find your information, <clears throat> information is on a platform. And Online Trading Academy, the sponsor of the show, actually has designed their own platform. It's for traders and investors by traders and investors. And if anybody that's ever tried trading and investing, some of those platforms are very, very difficult to understand. Right. You don't know what all these different buttons are for, and it confuses people. So we've made that a very seamless strategy, seamless process to guide you through those investment decisions. The platform is called Click, and it's for our students only. And our strategy is actually built right into it. So that way you don't have to go and figure out a, you know, uh, create a strategy, invent the invent the wheel, that you shouldn't have to do that in trading investing. Online Trading Academy has already done that for you. So having your own platform designed to guide you through your, your strategies and how to buy and sell with the institutions with more consistency and also more confidence. And we'll introduce you to these different concepts and techniques in these free classes that we do here locally at the Academy. So we have a lot of people, Al, that know they want to be traders and investors. And this is a great class for you because we get into some details on strategies, up markets, down markets. But we also have a lot of people coming to these classes that are new to the markets as well. So we're going to be able to introduce you to a lot of these concepts as, as a new person as well. So we can, we're able to explain all this stuff and teach this stuff to every type of person. So you can call right now for two seats for this class. Call 888-682-6466, and that's for two seats. Call 888-682-6466. You can also text the word investing to the number 210-210 for two seats. That's text investing to the number 210-210 right now. Al, I want to continue talking about these strategies and how to place your investments ahead of time in wealth accounts, retirements, 401ks, and IRAs. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 